six, Lebanon a winner. The Post Game Show with Coach Mark Medley and field reporter John Bryant. Brought to you by Greg Brothers Car Wash, Jim Goodall, County Clerk, by Texas Booth USU, Youth Reach, College Street Church of Christ, Burr's Barbecue, and by Fraser Brown Insurance. what little you got. Okay, count me down, Tom. Welcome to the post-game show with uh, John Bryan and Mark Medley, the head coach of Lebanon Blue Devils. Coach, good game. Always good to get one on the road. Oh, man, it's uh, you wait so long for that first one, and uh, uh, pressure starts to build, and you just don't know how you're going to react the first time out. And, uh, you know, we had a two-hour ride and playing with a slippery football, and... Uh, I'm just proud of our youngsters, the effort they gave, and uh, just feels good to get a win on our belt. A lot of turnovers in the first half. Y'all were able to capitalize on every one of them. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you know, we uh, we went after two punts, and uh, it just so happened to be uh, each time we did, they had a bad snap, and then another time the young man mishandled it, and uh, a big plays for us. And, of course, we knocked the football loose on a sweep down here. and. Uh, uh, our offense did a good job of taking advantage of those scoring opportunities. That's something that we've talked about all week is when we get down there, we got to take advantage of it. The first time we had the ball, we, uh, we were a little sluggish getting out of the huddle or I'm sluggish getting the play in. I don't know which. And uh, we got to delay a game penalty and took us out of the drive. But uh, we ate up about seven or eight or nine minutes of the clock early and uh, maybe wore their defense down some. Always good to try to work the kinks out in the first game, especially if you get a couple of touchdowns up, you can you can play around a little bit. Yeah, it does. I, I don't remember. Uh, I don't know where Greg Triplett threw an incomplete pass tonight or not. Uh, he was on the money, I think, uh, every time. And uh, uh, Charles Moss ran well with a sweep. Uh, the option uh, worked well for us, and uh, we probably didn't run it enough. But uh, uh, it's just one of those times where... Uh, you know, we're going to take this win and correct the mistakes and uh, and go from there. Coach, let's talk about uh, any injuries tonight. Uh, everybody pretty much healthy? I, I think we're pretty much healthy. Uh, Bill Garrett ran into uh, to our tailback out there in shorts yesterday and bruised his thigh some. We got we to gotta keep an eye on that thing and uh, and hopefully uh, not let that calcify. Uh, Charles, Tom, Charles Moss had a little knot above his knee, but uh, he came back and ran well, so hopefully we're okay. Let's talk about next week's game. Uh, what, what can we expect? Wing T. Uh, and we're not sure what we're going to see on uh, on defense out of Hendersonville. They've been in uh, wide tackle six and uh, and been in some 50 also. So, uh, you know, it's just going to be one of those things where we'll, we'll prepare for both in the week and uh, get to film and see what they played tonight against Maplewood and uh, and hopefully have a good week of preparation. It's a, it's a region game. We've got to be ready. Well, it's uh, our first year of uh, competing on this level. Uh, was it the toughest schedule we've had since you've been coaching Lebanon? Yeah, it's uh, it probably is. Uh, of course, over the years, we've toughened our schedule. Uh, and uh, this one sure uh, compares with the last two years. But uh, who knows? Uh, competition has a lot to do with it. So we just don't know how, uh, how people are going to be year in and year out. But we've got some good football teams coming up. Congratulations on a big win, Coach, and uh, good luck next week against Hendersonville. John, I'd like to add one more thing. I, we need to pack that stadium uh, and get behind these young men. They work their butts off year-round and uh, and go out and play hard. Lebanon, uh, Lebanon uh, has a right to uh, feel good about these guys, and, and we need their support. Right you are, Coach, and uh, once again, great game tonight. Good luck, and uh, hope we can get Hendersonville next week. Thank you. I want to thank our sponsors for sponsoring the post-game show with Mark Medley. We're going to take it back up to you for with Terry with the post-game stats. Terry? Lebanon has defeated Columbia tonight, 35-6 at Columbia. Columbia. I'm Terry Stafford with the final stats. First, let's recap the scoring. Lebanon got on the board in the first quarter, 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Steve Rose, a one-yard touchdown run, capping a five-play, 29-yard drive. Greg Triplett with the extra point. Lebanon led at the end of the first quarter, 7 to nothing. Lebanon gets on the board again in the second quarter, 10-32 left in the quarter. Jade Sellers, 22-yard touchdown run. 
Lebanon goes 32 yards in four plays. Triplett adds the extra point. It's 14 to nothing, Lebanon. Lebanon scores again in the second quarter. 6.58 left in the second quarter. Steve Rose, a one-yard touchdown plunge as Lebanon goes one yard in two plays. Triplett added the extra point. And at halftime, Lebanon led 21 to nothing. In the third quarter, Lebanon scores again. This time, Charles Moss, 28-yard touchdown run as Lebanon goes 34 yards in two plays. Triplett once again with the extra point. And at the end of three quarters, Lebanon led 28 to nothing. In the fourth quarter, Lebanon scores again, 10-07 on the board. Steve Rose, his third touchdown of the night, 11-yard touchdown run as Lebanon goes 76 yards in six plays. Triplett with the extra point, Lebanon led 35 to nothing. In Columbia, finally on the board with 23 seconds left in the game, Tremaine Cooper hits Todd Bell for a 59-yard touchdown pass as Columbia goes 84 yards in seven plays. The extra point was no good, and that's how we get our final. Lebanon beats Columbia tonight, 35 to six. Let's look at some of the individual stats on the game. First for Columbia, rushing 29 carries, 40 yards. Passing for Columbia tonight, four of 15, one touchdown, no interceptions, 99 yards passing, 40 on the ground, 139 total yards for Columbia. First downs, Columbia with seven first downs, four rushing, two passing, one by penalty. Columbia turned the ball over three times. All of those were fumbles. Penalties tonight for Columbia, two for 10 yards. Individually for Columbia, tonight on the ground, Cooper, 10 carries, 23 yards. Sewell, one for minus seven. T Taiwan Dial, nine for 30 yards. Todd Bell, their punter, muffed two snaps and was minus 39 on two carries. Daryl Par Parter, four for 32. Derek Pilla, two for six. And Gary McGuire, one for minus five. That's 29 carries, 40 yards for Columbia. Through the air, Cooper tonight, 415, 99 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Tonight, individually for Lebanon, Greg Triplett, one yard on one carry. Steve Rose, seven carries, 32 yards. Charles Moss had a big night, 15 carries, 92 yards. Jade Sellers, seven carries, 55 yards. Tony Cantrell, one for five. Mo Thompson, one for three. Chris Stafford, four carries for minus two yards. Luke Shepard, two carries for one yard. On the ground, Lebanon, 38 carries, 185 yards. Tonight, Triplett was seven of eight, no touchdowns, one interception, 87 yards through the air, 185 on the ground, 272 yards for Lebanon, total yardage. First downs, Lebanon with 13 first downs, nine rushing, three passing, and one by penalty. Lebanon turned the ball over one time. That was an interception. They were penalized three times for 15 yards. Again, total yardage, Lebanon with 272, Columbia 139. In the final score, once again, here at Columbia, Lebanon has defeated Columbia 35 to six.